and here I have these two divs our header and work area and these are the basic styling for header and work area on our body a simple background so let's apply a gradient as background on this header we apply a linear gradient starting from red and adding on blue so go to our browser and refresh so red and blue but let's change the colors instead of red and blue here we have these two colors so there's a nice gradient applied and for the browsers like Safari, Opera and Mozilla we apply this fix so that this can work on every browser and on our body we use these two colors so this is like this and we want to make this fixed and offer our work area we apply this background so refresh quickly apply a border radius so now header this is our border radius for top left top right bottom right and bottom left so save this and refresh so it looks like this and for our work area our border radius will be like this so this looks like this and now let's apply a box shadow on these two divs on our header and on our work area so these are box shadows so let's put so let's put some text here so to format this text go to google.com slash fonts and you can use google fonts for our text so we can choose so click on this button quick use and to use this font we need to add this code in our head section and in our styling for our slogan this is our font family so refresh so this is our google font we have to align we have to align this vertically in the middle that's pretty simple as this is placed in our header so we say line height and this must be equal to the height of this div which is 130 pixel so save this so this is in the middle put some margin so now slogan margin from right let's say 35 pixels refresh and now let's put an image as a logo and then we'll align it vertically in the middle so this is our logo so in our header I paste the code and it has a class of logo position this absolutely and as this is relative to our header so the header will be positioned relatively so we say top 0 pixels bottom also 0 pixels and our margin auto so save and refresh so this is in the middle add some margin to the left so margin left we said 30 pixels so this is quite cool make our slogan bigger so slogan we say 40 pixels that's too big so 35 pixels 37 pixels is cool first we put some content in this div so in our work area this is my heading and paragraph and a styling so save and refresh this is a heading and a paragraph and now let's quickly create a few buttons so in our work area below our heading we created five buttons all buttons have same class my button starting for our button is like this 
sorry fresh so these are our buttons and to make transitions we say my button and hover we want to change its background color so save and refresh so the color of our button is now changed when we hover but this happens instantaneously and to apply a transition we say transition for our background for 300 milliseconds so refresh so now you can see that transition happens smoothly we can also apply a transition for this logo so we create our hover function so we are incrementing its width and height by 10 pixels because by default it's 75 so we are adjusting its margin to so save and refresh actually this is our margin left we should say left to apply transition we use transition property for our left width and height properties so whatever the changes are should be made in 200 milliseconds so save and refresh so this takes 200 milliseconds to complete the transition and let's rotate this in a hover we say rotate 360 degree and here too we say transform linear 200 milliseconds so save this and reload so these are transition effects so below our buttons I created div of my image and this is our styling so this is our image so refresh add just some margins for our paragraph so margin top 25 pixels this could be 22 so that looks fine so we can change the behavior of this div when we hover over these buttons and to make that happen I'm saying we hover over button 1 then this my image divs background becomes image 1 and this is our image 1 so refresh so you can see that it has now changed and similarly for our other buttons too I'm pasting this code so refresh so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so we have made all these things using just CSS